Okay, so a couple of things came in from the detox market yesterday. So I figured we could just combine them into one video. So the detox box for November launches today. And then they also recently released the best of green beauty um, for 2021. So I figured we could do both at the same time. I could tell you about the stuff that's in the detox box. Then we could talk about what's in that in case you're interested in any of that. Um, I, but like I said, again, um, these just came in yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to try anything. It's really just more informational, which seems to be a lot of what I'm doing lately. And I know that my content is probably like pretty tired, but I'm just trying to get myself <laughs> into some kind of groove. I am going to film an empties after this. So you will get something besides a subscription box, <laughs> um, this week if I can get it uh, edited, because it's gonna be a long one because it's four months of empties because I missed, um, I missed, yeah, you know. You know, um, but yeah, so I have an empties and then I wanna film this just in. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get to both today, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to have some different stuff up besides subscription boxes because I know I've done a lot of that. So the detox box, we're gonna talk about that today. And then probably next week, I will do a roundup of all of them so I can sort of tell you my updated thoughts on Beauty Heroes. I can tell you my thoughts on Boxwalla. I can tell you my thoughts on the detox box because I'll be able to try it then. Um, do sort of a refresher of the Earth Hero. Is that what it's called? <laughs> now I can't remember. <gasps> um, and then the Scent Club from Skylar should have come in by then. So I'll, I'll be able to talk to you about all the things next week so audacite is the featured uh brand this month and it features two products both full size and both ones that i've never tried before i have tried a lot of things from audacite a lot of their serum concentrates and their mask and mists and things like that but i've never tried either one of these i did want to try this one specifically so this is the omega oil cleanser this is a newer release I can't remember if it's their newest release, but I know it's one of their newer releases. No, because they just released a cream of some kind. I think it was a cream. I don't know. They had reached out to me and asked if I wanted to receive it, and then I just was in such a bad mental headspace. I never answered, so whoops. <laughs> oh, well. Um, but yeah, so this is the Montana Harvest Omega Oil Cleanser. So it says it's a game-changing cleanser that contains an omega-rich blend of oils, sea buckthorn, hemp, and safflower to rid pores of dirt and grime without stripping skin of essential hydration, a spa-like aroma of sweet basil and lemongrass elevates the experience. So I'm gonna open it um, so I can smell it. It is water soluble, I do believe. Maybe not, maybe it's not water soluble. Cause it, oh no it is, it's got that DIPPG2 Marith 10, so it's water soluble. So let's smell it. I get more lemongrass than anything else. Um, so there's lemongrass, sweet basil, and then some citronelle. Citronelle? Citronelle? So more citrus. I, yeah, I, I really don't get basil at all. I mean, hardly. Maybe when I put it on my face. Ooh, I'm trying not to. Let's try not to get it on my makeup. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is in there if you're looking for a new oil cleanser, water soluble, that's what I like. Um, it's just the easiest. <laughs> All right, the next thing is their Creme de la Nuit, or Nuit, restorative night cream. So this does come with like a little, what is this called? This is a, did I buy one of these? I think I bought one of these just like separately. It's one of their like, it's the acupressure point thingy. That's the spatula. This, so this side has a spatula and then there's like this thing for the acupressure points. I think you're supposed to use it to like apply the cream. So it's time to reset with some extra indulgent beauty sleep. This exquisite night cream contains a blend of high performance botanicals, including ashwagandha, pomegranate, and blue green algae that works harmoniously to plump and brighten the look of skin by sunrise. So after cleansing, use the mini Mon Ami Facial Acupressure Beauty Tool that doubles as a spatula to scoop out a small amount of the cream, warm between fingers and gently pat to the skin to seal moisture, then guide the rounded end of the tool across the face to relieve tension for a well-rested appearance. So I remember when this came out, I did, I was interested in it, 
but I believe I looked at the ingredients and I'm pretty sure that there is cacao butter in here, which there is. I have a problem with cacao butter, so it isn't like at the very high end of the list, it's sort of in the middle, so I don't really know how much there is in here. It might not be a problem, but I'll have to test it and let you know. But it does have pomegranate, fruit juice, um, jojoba, grape seed. It's got uh, blue-green algae, kelp, ashwagandha, broccoli, pomegranate, cacao butter. Um, it's got rosehip, honeysuckle, coenzyme Q10, rose geranium, lemongrass, more lemongrass, um, neem, seaweed, eggplant, ivy gourd, aloe, turmeric. I mean, so it's got a lot of really good stuff in it. It's just that cacao butter. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a problem for me. It again, it smells very heavily like um, lemongrass. So if you are very averse to like lemongrass scents, which I know a lot of people are, um, definitely stay away from this box because it is very lemongrass heavy. It's a little bit off-putting almost. Just, it's like too much lemongrass. But I'll give that a try and I will let you know if I have any sort of reaction to it. If you're someone that also has a reaction to cacao butter, um, I guess now wouldn't be the worst time to do that because I am sort of like breaking out in a few spots anyway. So if I break out a little bit more, so what? <laughs> it is what it is. But I mean, the rest of the ingredients sound really good in it. And um, I always like trying new night creams. So it's got vitamin C, um, hyaluronic acid, and then coenzyme Q10. Um, it says it's pure nocturnal magic. It's proven to deliver visible results. This beauty elixir combines the expertise of clinical skin science with high performance plant and ocean botanicals to reveal fresher and more youth youthful skin. So that's what's in the detox box this month. If you are not averse to lemongrass because that is the dominant scent in both of the products this month. And if you're interested in a new night cream and, um, you know, an oil cleanser, could be a good box if you, if you don't hate lemongrass. So I'll let you know next week. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about the best of Green Beauty box. So every year, Detox Market puts together um, their best sellers, I guess, or maybe it's their most reviewed, or maybe it's their most purchased products. I actually have no idea how they base the criteria on what is their best, you know, their best, it says uh, meet this year's MVPs. I don't really know how they pick them. There is 10 things in here. So I think, I think each year has 10. And um, I can go ahead and like link past videos that I've done because I think they've sent me their best of box at least for the last four four years, I want to say, three or four. I can't remember exactly how long I've been receiving it, but I know I've gotten at least three. I think this makes four. Anyway, I'll link the videos below. But yeah, um, I have no idea how they base the criteria on these. I sometimes wonder because when some of the products are in here, I'm always like, how is that a best seller? I don't know. I never hear anybody talk about it or whatever, but you know, it is what it is. Unless it's like, you know, new releases from this year. I have no clue. Okay, so the information is on the back and then we're just going to open this up. Oh, there's information here too. So it comes with a card. It comes with, yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to see all that. <laughs> I'm running out of space here. Um, I need to desperately clean off my vanity and like, you know, organize and stuff like that. Okay, so let me throw some of this stuff away and then I'll be back. Okay, now that we've gotten a lot of those like wormy things out of the way, here's what we've got going on. So I'm just gonna go down the list on this little card, whatever's first. Okay, five star volume, the Ilya Fullest Last. Wow, that was not words at all. Fullest, fullest volumizing mascara. So it does come with a travel size of the new volumizing mascara. I did purchase this. I have not um, tried it out yet. I actually used a very old mascara today. Um, I decided to use the Ara Perez natural mascara and then the Perfect Brow product because I hadn't tried those yet and I just ran out of um, a couple of brow or like a brow thing and a bunch of mascara I just threw away. Anyway, here is the brush on that one. I have not tried this yet. I've seen a lot of people talk about it and I think, is it gonna focus on the, the brush? I think I've seen a lot of people say that they really like this, but 
There is a little travel size of that in the box this this for this year. <laughs> in case that is something that you love or maybe you wanna try it, whatever. Okay, then there's the Mask of Excellence. Good Lord, this is like the fourth bottle of this now that I've gotten. The Innersense Detox Hair Mask. So this is a new release from this year. It was also featured in a Beauty Heroes box. I talked about it. Um, I use it, let's see, how often do I use it? Um, because it ha I think it also did come in a bundle this year as well. And I feel like it came somewhere else because I'm pretty sure that I have three bottles already, and this is my fourth one. It's either my third or fourth. I've gotten a lot of it. Um, let's see, how often do I use it? So I use it probably every week and a half to two weeks just to use it because I don't really notice that it makes too much of a difference for me. So it says, keep pollution in the air, not your hair. Ideal for city dwellers who uh, or those prone to build up. This washout hair mask features a clarifying trio of coconut, no, not coconut, charcoal, kaolin, and white vinegar to draw out impurities and replenish balancing moisture. Use weekly or monthly for resetting clean. So really, when I, I use it when I've been to the gym multiple days in a row and I haven't washed my hair or I've put a bunch of dry shampoo in um, as sort of like a, a reset before I do my shampoo. And I guess it works fine, but I don't notice like dramatic difference. You know, I don't really, uh, like when I wash my hair with just shampoo versus using this beforehand, I don't really notice that much of a difference in like my hair being that much cleaner or, you know, noticing like a difference in like buildup or anything. So I don't know. I think it really depends on the person because I've seen some people say that they really love this. I know Jeannie really loves it. Um, I don't know that it makes that much of a difference for me, but I have a bunch of it. So I will just continue using it sort of like bi-weekly. <laughs> but yeah, so I think it's gonna sort of depend on your hair. I just don't think I have just like very, I just don't think I have like a scalp or like hair that really needs it all that much. But anyway, that's, that's also in here. So there's a hair thing. There's one makeup thing. Actually, there's sort of like two makeup things, but we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Okay, so then there's the Hall of Radiance Herbivore Bakuchiol Retinol Alternative Serum. So it's nice to actually get something kind of like different in here. So this is that purple, sort of that purple serum. My camera just doesn't want to focus today for whatever reason. Anyway, okay, so let's read about it. So reap the benefits of retinol without disruption, powered by Bakuchiol, plus polishing PHAs and hydrating Tremella mushroom. This lightweight serum smooths the look of skin for a vibrant youthful appearance with no downtime. Ooh, that sounds kind of nice actually. So you can use it AM and PM. I would probably only use it PM. Press uh, three to four drops gently into your face and neck. And then, so let's see. So it's got polyhydroxy acids, which is the PHA, which is a gentle exfoliator that helps resurface skin while providing hydration. Love that. Bakuchiol from a uh, bopchi extract. It's supposed to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Tremella mushroom is a hydration superfood that holds up to 500 times its weight in water and helps skin retain moisture. And those are sort of like the, um, sort of like the main, the main ingredients. So that's exciting. I always love a good new nighttime, a new nighttime serum. Okay, then we have the most decorated balm. It's the Cadalis, Cadalis Banana Lip Balm. Ooh, I wonder if this actually smells like banana. The packaging is fun. Okay, so this is Make Chap Lips a Thing of the Past, starring the brand signature ingredient, Omega Rich Yellow Banana. Oh yeah, it smells like banana. Oh, I love that. Um, bioactive to firm and plump, this comforting lip balm relies on a trio of plant oils, jojoba, mimosa, and castor to seal in deep hydration that's worth going nuts over. Ooh, I love, like, I don't know. I used to, did anybody else really love like those runts banana candies? It's like fake banana, but I always loved it. This, this like triggered that scent memory for me, the runts bananas. Do they still make that candy? <laughs> I don't know, but I am excited to try that. Um, I'm gonna take that out definitely and put it in my bag or put it, you're just, I'll put it right here. I'm just gonna put it right on my desk. I'm, I'm wearing lip, like a lip thing right now, so I can't put it on, but I am excited to use that. I love the scent of it. Um, triggered scent memory for me, that was really nice. Okay, so the hydrator of the year is the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. The perfect daily moisturizer does exist. 
So here's this. You've probably seen this a million times. I actually believe this was featured in the detox box when Osea was featured. Um, that was a while ago though. And I know it's been in bundles and stuff before too. And I've got, I've got like, I mean, I work with Osea, so I've got jars of it like all over the place. So it's featherweight in feel. This mineral rich face cream uh, sinks into skin instantly, imparting a blend of nutrient dense oils, macadamia, jojoba, and avocado to replenish for a silky finish that's great under sunscreen or makeup. And it is a really nice sort of like basic um, moisturizer. If you don't need something that's, you know, anti-aging specific or acne specific, if you just need something that's moisturizing, that's lightweight, um, that's just very nice and smells really good. I love the scent of this. Um, it's sort of like a great basic, you know, for normal dry combo skin. Um, you know, if you don't have a whole lot going on with your skin, you just need something, you know, Osea I think is a really great line, especially too for like teens because I don't find them to be super active, but I do love a lot of their products um, because they have really good ingredients and they deliver, but they're not like potent, potent, you know, they're not like something like this, like a retinol alternative or anything like that. Um, but they, they are good sort of like basic staples if you don't have like a ton going on with your skin. That's a really nice, really nice cream. I like that one. So that's also in here. Okay, so the best in cleanse is the Detox Mode Renewing Foam Cleanser. And I have, I have tried this one actually. They did send me their cleansers when they um, released. I know I haven't talked about them. Oh my God, that was like last year, wasn't it? Wow, that was a long time ago. Okay, so reawaken your skin with this citrus spiked foaming cleanser, a curated blend of botanicals, including calendula, evening primrose, and milk thistle, helps soothe and protect skin's moisture barrier while polishing pineapple extracts lift away impurities with ease. And I do really enjoy this as well. It smells lightly of like pineapple. It's not too strong. It's not stripping. It's really enjoyable. Um, so let me do the other, let me do the other skincare thing in here and then I could sort of show you how you could sort of make this a routine. Um, so this is the clear winner. This is Audacite B, L, and C, the Black Cumin and Kajaput Facial Serum. This is probably their best one, at least for me, because I do have acne and I have bought this on my own. I do really enjoy it. I think it's a great spot treatment. So need to combat congestion? Count on this concentrated miracle serum that doubles as a targeted spot treatment. It's formulated with three potent ingredients, purifying black cumin oil, cleansing kajaput oil, and soothing vitamin E to help find clarity where your skin is acting up. So if you were interested in this box and you wanted to, if you weren't, yeah, and you needed like a routine. It's uh, what I like about these is that they do tend to put in sort of like a routine's worth of products. So you can cleanse your skin. Um, okay, so say you get the detox box this month. You can use the oil cleanser as like your first cleanse, remove your makeup, whatever. This is your second cleanse. Or if you're not wearing makeup, it could be your only cleanse. Um, then I would, what would I do? So I'd put the Bakuchiol serum on. Um, let's just say this is like a nighttime routine, not like a daytime routine. And then I would put the pimple serum on any active breakouts that I have. So like I would put them here, 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 I would just put like one dot and let it sink in. And then I would finish off with the, um, the cream, the cream. So I think that's a, a, that's a great little routine and this is good. So if you have just sort of like, you know, good staple products, but you don't have anything super active, this is a good thing to have. Like if you're, if you want just sort of like a basic moisturizer, you want just sort of like basic products, but you want to put in like one or two really active, uh, you know, active products to round it out. This is a good thing to do that with if you have someone that has acne because you can mix this in and use it with, you know, basically anything. I've used it with a ton of different stuff and had like zero issue ever using it with anything else. I put it under all kinds of balms and creams and on top of oils and whatever. And it, it always works really well for me. And um, it does help bring down um, pimples in a really short amount of time. That's probably the most affordable, potent um, acne serum, like, you know, spot treatment. Um, I used to love the Uma one, but it was very expensive, but that one was very potent. Um, Natural Logic also makes a very good one. I don't like the one from Osea. I don't find that that one works really well for me. The one from Osmia also does not work that well for me. So it's been sort of hit or miss with like all of the, the acne serums that I've tried, but Natural Logic and this one from Audacity are probably the two best that I've found. And I've got very um, picky skin <laughs> when it comes to that kind of thing anyway. 
Okay, then we have the hands down favorite, Henne Organic Citrus uh, Luxury Hand Cream. So it's luxury at your fingertips. This rich yet fast absorbing formula is the ultimate on the go hydrator to keep your thirsty hands crack free and feeling irresistibly supple. It's infused with aromatic grapefruit and bergamot oils to uplift the senses each time you inhale. And I do have one over here. I'm gonna get it so I don't have to open this one. Well, I actually have a different scent. I didn't realize there were different scents. So this is the citrus one. And then the one I have is Bloma. I assume, I assume that the ingredients are gonna be mostly the same except for, um, except for like the scent. Yeah, so this one is like, the citrus one is like sweet orange. And then the other one that I have is like rose, geranium. But I can tell you about the, the texture or like the, I can tell you about the formula of it without having to open the other one and just, just to have like a different scent. Cause I do have one open. I know I need to do my hand cream video soon. I promised it last year and then it didn't happen and now it's sort of like back into hand cream season almost. Well, for most people probably. Um, today I think is the last day that it's gonna hit like 90 and above. I think from here on out we're gonna be like in the 80s which is gonna be very nice. So, I mean, I like this hand cream. I don't find it to be super greasy. How expensive was it though? It's only $25. I mean, that's not bad for 1.5 ounces. I've got a lot of other hand creams that are much more expensive than that. So that's not terrible. And it, it, it absorbs really nicely. It doesn't leave sort of like the slick, you know, greasy feeling that some can. Like I don't feel the need to wash my hands. Like there are some hand creams that I've used where I've just felt the need to wash my hands immediately after putting it on. Cause I'm like, I can't touch anything else because I'm just gonna get everything else around me greasy. So that's, that's very nice. Okay, so we have two more things. We have the prized palette, the new Well People Power Palette Eyeshadow. And uh, Well People did just rebrand and reformulate again. I know that they did that a couple of years ago. And I was really disappointed when they did that because a lot of their products, they, they put pearl in like everything. And a lot of their makeup products had like carmine in it. But they have reformulated again and I believe all of their products are now carmine free and pearl free. I went, when I saw that they relaunched, I went through and I looked at the ingredients of pretty much all of their products because I was interested in um, picking some stuff up because they're now even more affordable. You can get them at places like Target and Sprouts, probably Whole Foods, um, like natural stores. So I was gonna pick a bunch of stuff up, but you know, <laughs> I've been so behind in everything else and there's so much other stuff I haven't tested yet, I didn't. I, I put it on the back burner. I was like, okay, I'll get to it eventually. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't have the patience or the time, money, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, but I did look through all of the ingredients and as far as I can tell, they got rid of all the pearl, which is nice. Cause I hate when, I hate when products have pearl in it because I really don't find, I, I really find it unnecessary. Um, I know they use it for like luminescent factor and yada, 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 but uh, you can get that same thing with like synthetic mica. You really don't need to use pearl for that, I don't think, in my opinion. So I'm really annoyed when, you know, products use pearl. Like the Five Yina or the Yina mask now contains pearl and whey. That annoyed me to no end. I did email them asking why they, uh, they um, put those ingredients in when I thought that the product was perfectly fine before and they just never, they never even answered me. So they just totally ignored me, which is very disappointing as well. But anyway, yes. So I'm pretty sure all of the pearl is gone and all of the carmine is gone. So I'm, I think all of their makeup products now are carmine vegan friendly. Um, except I think some of their, their stuff does still have beeswax in it. So check out for that. But at least the, you know, main, the big offenders for me, like the bug, the bugs and the oyster, you know, pearls are gone. So this is the palette that's in here. Um, it's a convenient eyeshadow palette that contains five natural hues in a mix of soft mattes and light reflecting shimmers for a cohesive wash of, wash of color across the eyelids. Velvety blendable formula makes it easy to achieve any look. Um, so yeah, these colors are really pretty. I like all of them. This is the violet palette. I know they have a couple. I know one has like blue or something in it. Like this color is really pretty. This is really pretty. So it's a great neutral palette if you're looking for something very neutral. You've got eyeshadow and you've got mascara in here now. So a couple, you got like a full face routine. You've got a hair thing. You've got some hand cream, you got a little makeup. 
stuff. Okay, the last thing in here um, is the gold metal glow. This is one of the new pie products. And I did talk about this <laughs> a few months back, or was it last year? Oh my God, like I don't remember time anymore. I don't remember when anything was. Um, I did talk about this in like a video. It was like stuff that bothered me this week and like how this was launched and how it's very similar to me to the, um, the Nini Organics product. So luckily it's just like a tiny size. So it's the Impossible Glow. It's blonde, bronzing drops concentrate. Sun-kissed all year round, these convenient bronzing drops illuminate the complexion while flooding skin with plumping hyaluronic acid and sea kelp, plus vitamin C boosted lemon water for an effortless glow. Mix it in with your moisturizer, SPF, or use it alone and prepare to be wowed. So let's put a couple of drops on the back of my hand because I'm interested to see sort of like the pigmentation of this. Yeah, it is, it is more like bronzy, I think, than the Nini Organics one is. Because the Nini Organics one, um, it's not this, I guess, like heavily pigmented, I guess. And I like mixing that in with like moisturizers and oils and things like that because it sort of just gives your face a nice little glow. This one will definitely give you more of like a bronzy effect. But it could be nice in the summer if you, you know, want to mix it in with your moisturizer. You just want to give your face a little bit of color or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's the last thing that's in here. So sort of like the last makeup product. It's not, it's not shimmer. Like there's no like glitter, but it is sort of like luminescent is what I'm getting from it. So anyway, that's everything um, for the detox box this month if you're interested in that. And then also the best of, I just poked myself in the eyeball. Um, the best of detox market box. I'll, I mean, all around, I think it's a really good box. I think there are a lot of really nice products in here. I'm excited about the Well People palette. I'm excited about, you know, the skincare stuff in here. Um, I mean, the only two things that really like sort of don't excite me or things that, you know, I have experience with that I don't really care for is the detox mask, the detox hair mask, because I don't really find that for me that does that much. Um, and then the Pie Impossible Glow, just because, you know, I'm very loyal to Nini Organics. <laughs> like if somebody else came on the market with like a, a butterfly pea, or what is it? Um, like mist. Actually, I shouldn't say that because I do think that Malaya Organics had launched their mist prior to Nini Organics launching theirs. And I believe theirs has butterfly pea in it. So I guess I, I mean, I really shouldn't talk because I mean, all brands just sort of like do different things. And like, even if, you know, some of the ingredients are similar, but like I, for some brands, I just am so like fiercely loyal that like if some something is released that's similar to something else that I already love, I'm like, well, that looks like you copied and I'm not going to try it. So, I mean, like That's my sort of personality because I'm just so fiercely loyal. Like if somebody came out with like a green bomb, um, like a cleansing bomb, like similar to the unveil, I would just be like, shut it down. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> anyway, um, I, uh, that's it. That's all that I've got for this video. Um, be on the lookout for hopefully some more videos this week that are not subscription box related. If I can get them edited and, um, up, I, uh, I did update my, um, internet package when I became a one person household. <laughs> um, and now the upload speeds are much, much slower. So it takes like an hour to upload a half an hour long video where it used to take me like 10 minutes before. So that's very annoying, but I will deal with it because it's cheaper internet, but <laughs> it's what it is. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you're planning on picking up either one of these things or just what your thoughts are in general. And I will see you guys in my next one.